Hi Leo, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for April 15th through May 14th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Happy Mappy Tarot. <laughs> Happy Mappy. <laughs> love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love. This is an all-encompassing reading. We're going to see what shows up and go from there. Typically it's romantic, but there's a bit of craziness going on in the world right now. So we're going to be open to everything. All right. So let's see what shakes out here. As always, this could be yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign as well. All right, Leo. Whoopsie. All right, Leo. Okay. Two of Pentacles. All right. Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. That could be Capricorn. Strength. That could be Leo. Ten of Swords. All righty then. Chariot. Cancer and Page of Wands. All right. So what do we got here? What's going on? It's this four. Is this someone that wants to? Oh, I think this is someone that wants to work things out, and you're like, no. No, I don't really care. What's this four of wands about? This four of wands. Or maybe it's that you want the you wanna just get back to how you two used to be. Hold on a minute. Let me there we go. What what is it here? What's this four of wands about for Leo? Knight of Wands, there's Leo again. So we got Leo here. It says Queen of Pentacles. For Leo, it's Queen of Pentacles. The High Priestess could be Pisces or Cancerian. What's this chariot about? Four of Cups. Oh boy. And uh, Ten of Swords. The Devil. Okay. Strength, what's the strength card about? I think someone's stuck and they're kind of being withholding and they're they're wanting things only on their terms and they're kind of keeping certain things hidden from you still. And you're like, no, it's the very reason that you hid your shenanigans from me that we ended. I'm not, not talking about that. I'm open to things working out, but I'm also open to moving on by myself and I'm just fine and self-sufficient doing that. I'm not going to do the shenanigans. I'm not going to abide your secret little things that you do in private that you keep from me. And, and I have to clean up the mess or I kind of have to, you know, have a relationship around you with your main squeeze, which is your addiction or your, you know, trauma that you're not letting go of and that's affecting the relationship currently, that sort of thing. You're like, nope, not doing that. What's this strength about for Leo? Magician, that could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. All right. So this is you realizing, you know what? This is not about me. Um, and I am capable of having a healthy, happy relationship with someone. I've got a lot to give. And I want to also receive in kind. And I'm open to that. But you've got somebody that wants things on their terms because they're protecting either this wounded part of themselves that they're, you know, they're very controlling um, or they've got this, they've got this habit that they think they can handle. They think they can manage. They think they're in control of it, but it keeps interfering. So we could be talking about like an alcoholic or somebody that has a gambling problem or something. It's something that they do in private that affects the relationship. So you're affected by it, but you have no, you're, you're affected the most by it, but you have the least amount of control. That's a fun place to be and you're not having it. So this is someone that's just like, well, if I can't have your concession for that, then that's, then I'm, mm -mm, no. And you're like, okay, just so we're clear though, this could have been salvaged and you're walking away from it. Not that you would want to, you know, be like, okay, but fine. It's your fault. You're, you're above that. You're not doing that here. But 
the point, the thing that I'm trying to say is that you need to see it that way. There needs to be that moment of clarity to where you understand that, you know what, this could have been, but I'm not going to abide. This is not my fault. This is someone refusing to meet me halfway and to be a partner and it's on their terms and I can't abide that. So that's why we're walking away. So it looks like you're going to be very aware of that, but this person has got it in their head that, um, no, I just, I don't want to deal with someone so controlling. And you're like, that's fine. That's fine. I am perfectly capable of moving on and starting anew and doing my own thing and moving forward. And you don't really have any ill will here. You're just not, you're tired of the shenanigans and you're, it's like you'd be resentful if you settled for their terms and you're not going to. So in a way you're kind of like, wow, you know what? There still might be a chance that we could in the future if this person gets their act together. Because you're not writing the person off, you're writing the behavior off. So this is you, as the situation stands now, you're not putting up with it, but you still are open to if this person can um, change and heal, but you've got good perspective on this situation. For now, it needs to be over because you can't abide the secrecy. You can't abide somebody kind of doing things that kind of just only takes care of themselves in the relationship and you're left to make everything okay for everybody else, the kids, the rest of the family. And you're like, nope, I'm tired of holding it all together. I'm tired of being the strong one. Um, so I, I'm looking, I'm taking that energy, that strength, and that being able to, you know, make chicken salad out of chicken, hmm, and I'm going to make that benefit me now. Because as long as this, your person's dancing with the devil here, you're like, I'm, I'm out. I, we can't, that, that's a deal breaker. What's this page of wands? And it should be. This is page of wands. Page of wands. Because it's, it's very much about what this person um, wants. And they're very protective of their agenda or their thing that they're kind of hiding. I don't think it's an affair. I think it's a habit of some sort. Honestly, I think it's just kind of this way of being. Like this behavior or a habit. Like an addiction. But this is somebody that's very protective of that. And kind of wants concessions from you. Like, well, you know what? Everything else about this relationship is really good. We're really stable and strong. And you're like, exactly. But it's also that big elephant in the room that affects the everything else that is good and stable and strong. It can't coexist. What else? For Leo. It's this page of wands here. Three of cups. What else for Leo? What's this page of wands here? Two of Swords. All right. I like it. Because you're not staying. You're accepting the way things are and you're very clear-headed about it. You realize that, okay, if this person were to meet me halfway and we could talk about this and we could heal over time and we could figure out a way and we could enjoy together and figure out, you know, what's what and do that. Good. But this is someone that is kind of stuck on the, their conditions and their terms and you're like, that can't, uh, no. No. No, because there, there's no room for you and your preferences or for honesty or for, you know, things. Look at the darkness here. Look at this. All It needs to be cut, brought into light. And they're just like my way or the highway. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to be over here with my tribe then. I'm going to be, you know, really insulating myself and keeping with my people that support me and uplift me and can encourage me here and move forward with me. And your person is just going to, looks like they're just going to kind of be stuck on how they feel and cut things off. And they don't want to talk about it anymore. And that's fine. But you know in your head that this could have worked um, if there was healing and openness about someone's shenanigans. You were willing to be generous with that and be like, you know what, I, I can work with this with you, but... Not if they're not, because at this time they're, they're wanting to preserve that instead of work things out with you. So, no. What else for Leo? And there you are walking away. Because it's come to that. Your perspective on this is such, you have good clarity, you can see things clearly, and you're like, I can't invest any more emotionally in this. I've got to walk away. We've reached an impasse. Agree to disagree. I'm heading towards my tribe. 
What else for? Whoopsie, Leo. What else for Leo? Earth changes, climate change, transformation. So this is a very grounded, practical decision to move forward. Things have changed in the relationship. You see it clearly, and it's just a very practical decision for you, for all concerned, what's best for the household, what's best for where you're at to cut things off here because your person isn't willing to talk about the shenanigans or be open about what the thing is that they're protecting rather than invest in the relationship with you. We're going to put this, I guess I can put it right there. All right. That's for Leo. 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 <laughs> Whoopsie. No, it was like this. I always turn that way. Okay. So 10 of wands reversed and two of cups reversed. So uh, basically this was just too much to bear anymore. It was too much work. It was too much effort. Someone probably wasn't doing enough and you were doing too much. And that led to the broken union. You two weren't seeing eye to eye anymore. No. And that's why there's this really wanting to be around your tribe again, because you know, you're not crazy. You know, you're not asking too much. It's an, it's a reasonable request to want everything out on the table and to know what you're dealing with before you reinvest and to want to give it time and to figure out together how to rebuild. And your person's like, no secrets. And I'm going to stay on stuck on that. And I'm going to turn it around in my head to where it's like, well, I just got to move on because Leo's being unrealistic and unreasonable. No, Leo's person doesn't want to come clean about something and no healing or progression can take place when someone's protecting a secret and wanting things only on their terms. It's too much. All right, Leo, I hope this was helpful. This, the funny thing is though, now you're going to yell at me in the comments, I know, but the door's not closed on this. You're so generous <laughs> because you, there's, it's like you're willing to wait and give this person time and you're like, all right, I'll just, like you're willing to wait for them to come around. You, you're going to yell at me now, but in a couple weeks, you'll see that you've still got like a toe in the door. You're still, for the Leos that I'm reading for, the door isn't shut shut. The door is shut while someone's shenanigans are still in play, whatever they're protecting. But if that were to go away, if that were to somehow get healed, you'd still be open. And the thing is, you're even generous enough to offer to help with the healing. And yet this person just doesn't want to, it's like they want to protect this whatever it is, and then everything can happen around it, but this is sacred and it, that, uh, uh and the sacred thing affects you though. So, and they can't see that. So yeah. Okay. All right, Leo, I hope this was helpful. This looks, you're doing good. I mean, you've got this in perspective and you're like, well, okay. All right. I, I kind of figured it might be this way. So, all right. So you're not mad or bitter, but you're not going to stay stuck either, which is good. You're not going to blame. You're not going to, you're like that way madness lies. I'm just going to, going to really stay close to my tribe so I can have them counteract any negative thoughts. Or if I get down in the dump dumps, um, this obviously we've got social distancing going on, right? But this could be like being able to get back out there and meet up again. It could be lessening. It could be foretelling that, that the things are going to lessen a little bit and you, you're going to be able to really get some distance from this emotionally because you're able to reconnect with your tribe and start socializing again. So, all right. I hope this was helpful, Leo. I hope to see you in the next reading and I thank you for stopping by. If you're an essential worker or first responder, thank you very much for your service. Um, please stay safe out there. All right, take care.